Saint Matthew chapter 10, verse 34, and it reads, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, regardless of people here for a bit. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. This is red letter. Lord, yeah, how should I speak it? Who they really call Jesus? Letting you know what's coming upon the face of the earth. That sword represents destruction. It represents a whole lot of death. So you got these Israelite groups and just people in general telling you that things are going to get back to being normal. Peaceful days are coming. You see, a, a new beginning, a new start, full of joy and singing and dancing and all this other nonsense, right? The Lord said, don't think that I'm coming to bring peace on earth. I'm not coming to bring peace I'm coming to bring destruction. That's why we got we to constantly pray, man. Let's get this loop right quick. There's a quick little lesson through the spirit. Lord, one of the elect is edified, which consists of your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and then the Americans, the elect of the nation of Israel, right? The Hebrew Israelites, right? Let's get this. St. Luke chapter 21. We're just going to hit some points and then we're going to wrap it up. Fear, fearing the Lord. That's the best. That's the best way to be. Just fearing the Lord. St. Luke 21, 36, red letter again, who the eagerly called Jesus, Yahweh Shai. Watch ye therefore and pray always because the Lord just told you he's bringing death and destruction. So we most definitely need it. We ain't in the safe zone yet. We, we ain't made it yet. Just because we know the scriptures, just because we hit the highways and byways. Now, we ain't made it yet. We're praying that, Lord willing, we'll be kind of worthy to escape all these things that's coming down the pipeline. Hell, all the things that's happening now, them spirits are active too. The Lord got spirits created for vengeance, and they're active right now. Every time you turn around, once again, it's an ambulance, a fire truck, a cop car, blinkies banging off, fighting. All tall tale signs that we're at the end of this thing. It's, it's really getting ready to pop off. The, little, the scriptures say greater evils. The Lord said, I ain't coming to bring peace. I'm coming to bring greater evils, more bad times. St. Luke 21, 36. Watch ye therefore and pray. So we're constantly watching, keeping up with current events, knowing what's going over on this country, knowing what's going on in that country, knowing what's going on over here in the good old U.S. of the A. In our backyard. Keeping up with the current events, keeping up with the new technology. When we go to the stores, when we go to the bank, where will we go? We're looking around, seeing, seeing what's changed. Because things are changing rapidly, right? So we're constantly watching, we're constantly praying, praying always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. Because, like I said before, through the spirit of you have about Shemel Shah, we ain't made it yet. It's getting ready to get bad out here for everybody. But the thing about the whole for elect, we got Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai that we pray to that we can be comforted through, right? Who are you other? You two thirds and you heathens. Who, who the hell are you going to pray to? Who, who are you going to pray to? It said, watch and pray always. Who are you praying to? That you may be counted worthy to escape all these evils, these bad times that are coming down the pipeline. And to stand before the Son of Man. That's why the scriptures say, um, shall, when Lord Yahweh shall come, shall he find faith in the earth? Because it's going to get that bad. A whole lot of people going to give up the little faith that they do got. It's going to get so bad that they're going to conform to the ways of the beast system. They're going to take that M-A-R-K, that karagma, that C-hip, that micro C-hip. That's why we got to constantly pray to the Lord that he keep his spirit on us to not take it. Because that fire, that brimstone is coming. This, this ain't the end. This is not the end. Let's just get this. I mentioned it through the Spirit. Let's just get it. Second Edges chapter 14. Second Edges chapter 14. Verse 16 in the reads. Everybody playing around. And we're getting one day closer. And one day closer. And one day closer. 
of Lord Yahweh Shai coming into this realm. They're just popping everything off. Second Ezra chapter 14. Oh, yeah. Long as you're chasing that bag, though, that bag is going to be irrelevant soon come. All right? Chasing money is going to be irrelevant soon come. And the only thing that's going to keep you stable is Isaiah 33 and 6. Do you have it? Do you have it? Second Ezra chapter 14, verse 16. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done here. So greater evils, more casualties, more job losses, more, more, more people panicking, people just losing it. See, the Lord's going to take you out of that comfort zone. The Lord's getting ready to do away with that comfort zone. Everyone's getting ready to get real uncomfortable. Get, get ready, Israel. Get used to being uncomfortable. Get used to not knowing where your next meal is going to come. Get used to not being able to call 911. Get used to not being able to call the fire truck. Get used to, be, get used to not being able to go to the grocery store and get a meal. You got to go out there and get it how you live. Get used to all that because it's coming. Get used to not going to the job and clocking in and clocking out. Get used to not going on vacation. Second Ezra 14, 16. Get used to not being able to use that cell phone or that Wi-Fi or that computer. Get, get used to being, being in a dangerous situation. Second Ezra 14, 16. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Get ready for that purge. Get ready for a lawless society. How about that? Get used to it, Israel. And when it comes, we want to be kind of worthy. Lord, when we pray, Lord willing, we'll be kind of worthy to endure, to and escape all these things that's going to come to pass. It says the righteous shall scarcely be saved. And through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom. Much tribulation, Israel. This ain't no cakewalk. This is not going to be a cakewalk. This ain't going to be easy for none of us. Get, get it through your head. Second address 8 and 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world. Because they have walked in great pride. And the majority of the people that's on the face of the earth still walking around with great pride. They, they don't know what's going on. They don't know that the dollar is getting ready to crash. They don't know it's getting ready to be a lawless society. They don't know about the race wars that's coming, the class wars, the civil wars, the gender wars. They, 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 don't know, they don't know that the slaying of the Lord is going to be from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth. They don't know that Lord Yahweh is coming in a, in a chariot the size of a mountain, shooting laser beams. They don't know about the, the millions of ICBM missiles, the intercontinental ballistic missiles coming over here, destroying this place, burning it to a crisp. They don't know about that. We do, though. Second Ezra 8 and 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world. Because they have walked in great pride. And pride goes before destruction and their hearts and spirit before fall. And we bring out these scriptures all, all the time. All the time we bring them out, man. The Lord, the Lord is getting ready to come and get busy. Show sure enough. Show sure enough. Let's get this revelation. The 18th chapter. This ain't no game. You got these other Israelites, they just, just doing the most. They're just doing a bunch of stupid nonsense. Got their women teaching on the highways and all this madness when, when evils and only evils is coming. It's Revelation 18. Revelation chapter 18. Let's just get this right. One quick verse. This place already got a date with destruction, Israel. Revelation chapter 18, verse 8, and it reads, Therefore shall her plagues Babylon, the mother of harlots, America, man. Therefore, shall our players come in one day? Death and mourning and famine. And she shall be utterly burned with fire. And she shall be utterly burned with fire, man. The Lord's going to burn this place, man. For strong is the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son who would judge of her. So who's going to judge Babylon? The Lord, man. That's what the Lord is coming back to do. Judge this place. But before the Lord actually judges this place by way of that fire and by way of the um the spaceships shooting laser beams, what they even call UFOs, the chariots, all kind of plagues are going to hit this place first. All kind of plagues. Well, I read it earlier. 
I read it earlier. We want to be counted worthy, Lord willing, to escape all these things that are going to come to pass and the things that's happening now. Once that purge pop off, man, you, you, you people don't even know that purge is about to pop off. Y'all thought the Lord was a nice guy and that he, he was going to just, just, he just heal everybody, right? Just protect everybody. And all these wicked people on the face of the earth, you think the Lord's going to protect you? Hebrews 10, 31, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Our power actually lives. And it's a fearful thing to fall into his hands. You don't want to make him angry. You you had um what was it uh, incredible Huck? He said you don't want to make him angry. No, you don't want to make the Lord angry. You you won't like it when he's angry. It was that Bruce Banner? You you're not gonna like it when the Lord gets angry, man. Hebrews chapter ten verse thirty one. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. You people have no clue of what's coming. No clue whatsoever. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 31. One more time. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. A fearful thing, Israel. Remember, in the last days, perilous times shall come. We're living in perilous times. Let's get this right quick. Because the Lord said, think not that I come to bring peace on earth. But you got everybody on the face of earth saying the peace is coming. The Lord telling you what is coming, and then you got everybody else telling you what is coming. Who, who are you going to believe? 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3, and it reads, For when they shall say peace and safety. That's the, that's what that's the new talk of the town, right? Just peace and safety. Everything's going back to being normal. Just, just sit back. Don't worry about it. Drink your juice. Drink your Capri Sun. And, and every, just sit back and relax. Take your sea hip, and everything's going to be okay, right? For when they shall say peace and safety. We're going to bring peace to the earth. No more wars. No more this. No more that. For when they shall say peace and, peace and safety. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them. As travail upon a woman with child. And they shall not escape. And that's what we prophesying of. I just wanted to hit a couple of scriptures. I'm about to wrap it up. I'm going to bring out one more. Then I'm gone. I'm gone. Don't think that the Lord is coming to bring peace on earth. Just showed you, according to the Bible, that he's not. Uh, only evils, evils and only evils. Jeremiah 28. Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8, and it reads, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil. And of pestilence. Lord willing, we'll be counted worthy to escape all these things. Watch as well as pray. Shalom.